So hi, everyone. I am here on, in the Zoom room with a very special person, Miss Stephanie, who is um, live from New Zealand. It's, wow, it's 10 to 11 in the evening with me. What's the time with you, Miss Stephanie? It is approaching 6 p.m. on a Saturday evening. Yeah, and one <laughs> thing I like about this crazy world pandemic is some good things about like how we get to connect and this is quite often our thing yeah I'm in the mm -hmm. evening getting ready preparing for the training and yeah. you're getting back from teaching classes so. that's right that's I'm right. curious how many how many years you've been teaching Nia ah my very first class was February 1st 2010 so just a little over 10 years yeah well approaching 11 yeah this February coming I, I like how you track things like that. It's very impressive. Crazy, you know, the exact yeah. date. I know the first day that I went in, I stepped into a Nia class as well. That's <laughs> wonderful. I think that's one of the things I enjoy about your personality. And people might not realize you've been actually helping behind the scenes as well. Yeah. So one of yeah. your roles is providing, well, you've helped me a lot with the Green Belt with updating materials. And what would you call that role of what you're doing? Oh, I think it's probably just the, the online content builder. Yeah. So using, um, using all of your input, your materials that you want to include, and then just fashioning it in a way that it, um, it flows nicely for the trainees that are going through the, the course and, um, you know, adding, you know, places where we can put in some podcasts that might enhance the, the lesson that you're working with. Um, so that's, that's been a lot of fun. I've had a lot more, a lot more input with, with helping you with green. Um, <laughs> so it's been, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Well, yeah. I've really, really appreciated your help with us putting it all together. I think it's been interesting with every belt, looking at how we can put a training that's, you know, most trainings are seven days, the green belt is five days, and how we take that course and put it into two hours a week. And I have just really appreciated your, your concept of the design and your understanding of all this amazing library of resources that Debbie Roses and Near HQ has, that we can then draw from that library to create a really great supplementary platform with the, the homework that they're doing every week in between yeah yeah that's right there's just there's so so much now on offer um to play with throughout the week in between each lesson plan so yeah it's been a lot of fun a lot of fun and it's been super fun getting to actually attend your your weekly lessons and be be a put myself back into student mode and yeah trying. Yeah. And that's something we were talking about, yeah, that we're, as teachers, it's always important if I want to be a great teacher to keep coming back to be a student to learn more. If, if, I, if I think I've got it all, then there's definitely something I need to check in with. <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. And, and I feel like I'm always learning and I always pick something up different that perhaps I just either forgot about or never even knew. And, and so it's been a journey. This is my third time going through green belt and getting to, getting to witness it in the older format and then seeing it again in last year, um, in a newer format, and then now flipping it all completely to online. It's, it's been different every, every single time. And yeah, the, what I'm able to take away is invaluable. Yeah. 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 I'd love to, for you to share more about that. Yeah. So you took one of the first green belts when it was being designed and that was somewhere in the States, I assume. Yes. And then you did it more recently in New Zealand. Yeah. And now yeah. you're doing it online. So mm -hmm. if you could share a little bit about, I mean, really, you've got like a historical perspective <laughs> of how this green belt has developed. So what would you yeah. like to share about that? Oh, I remember, um, my my first green belt was with Carlos. In fact, it was his it was his last green belt before he retired. And so it was it was a packed out belt, you know, 50 some people. It was at max capacity. And I'm there, just this little white belt, you know, not even a year on white belt and just 
very first time to Portland, very, very intimidated and being surrounded. That's the great thing about green belt is that you have every, every belt level can attend. So it wasn't just white belts there. There were blue and brown and black. And I'm just, <sighs> I just remember that. And then of course, getting to meet Carlos too. You know? So I was probably this, this starstruck little kid <laughs> the first time I take, took green, but it was, it was very different. And it was, we were told, you know, there's going to be tests and you need to make sure that you've got all of your resources available. Uh, and so I came with a couple of other Kiwis and every night we would be doing the, the tests, which we were quite relieved to find that they were take home tests and it wasn't going to be a pop quiz right there <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> and so we, we made, we made a fun evening of it sitting around the dining table and, you know, Nia technique book out and, all sorts of resources that we could possibly think of our, our white belt manuals, our green belt manuals, everything under the sun. And we're looking up all the answers to the questions and, and just having a really good time. And so it, it holds a very dear memory um, for mm -hmm. me getting to, to do that first green belt in Portland. Um, and then it, it revamped, it changed quite a bit. I, I mean, the first, the first green belt, um, as part of um, the last day, with there being so many people that were involved in the, in the training, um, Carlos said, right, okay, it's only going to be new white belts who are going to get up and actually lead, lead a song. And since there were so many of us, and at the time, the routine we were working with was Sanjana, and there were so many of us that, um, the songs had to be broken down and, and like two, sometimes three people would be leading a portion of each song. There was that many of us and not everybody had to do it. It was one of those things that if you wanted to, and I'm like, yes, I want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> and so I was um, holding out for my song that I wanted, you know, he was looking for volunteers and he would name the song and people would put their hand up and and so he would come up and sort out which portion they were going to do and so i'm holding out for my song that i wanted to do i knew that i wanted to do am i the one i was gonna <laughs> say that was the one you would choose that's funny well, i just loved the challenge of the fractions in that one and if you nail the fractions whew, it's it's just on fire yeah so i ended up getting to share that with a couple of others and um so I had the middle section where it was all the punches and everything. And we just had a ball with that whole, that whole last day, there was the nervousness building up to it. We knew that after lunch, we were going to come back and <gasps> there's black belts in the room, there's brown belts in the room and there's blue belts and we were all freaking out, but it was just a really, really great great time and and that was the highlight um and the very ending of our green belt and then um so then it all shifted and the green belt that i just did last year um and i don't know if there was possibly um a tweak made to it on the fly maybe taking out that pressure but i i remember there wasn't as there wasn't any opportunity to actually get up and and lead a track um but again, that might have been the trainer perhaps being aware of who was in the room and perhaps feeling the vibe and there wasn't really not that desire. Um, mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to how we're going to do this in the Zoom training, <laughs> how we're going to make this work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how's it been for you doing the course now after doing it in person, doing it online, like two hours a week, and also how we've divided the curriculum a little differently where it's been music, movement, and magic each week. So I was curious how that's landed for you. I mean, you're such a proficient master teacher yourself. Oh, and, you. um, and, and we've got all array, like you said, it's a whole rainbow of people in here from someone that just finished their white belt all the way through to someone that's been teaching us a black belt for 10 years I think so mm -hmm. so how's it felt for you online two hours a week music movement magic I actually really really enjoy this online format I was not sure how I was going to react to it 
but it it it's I love the snippets, the little bites of information and being able to um, then go away and sort of marinate and play with the, the teachings that you've brought up that week, whether it be to do with how to practice movement, how to really embody the, the music, how to add in the spice and bring in the magic. Um, you give us that, that, um, that freedom to then go and play and then we come back, get our, our bodies and brains filled up again with a little bit more knowledge. And then we get to take that away and, and have a little play with that as well. And so it's, it's been really, really enjoyable. I love this online format and, and quite looking forward to, you know, when I, when I get to start teaching or get to do some trainings to be able to, to, to jump into this platform, this platform really, really speaks to me as a, as a future trainer. Um, so I'm looking forward to, you know, to being able to introduce the white belt this way. Yeah, I think so. I think it's incredible timing for you. I think it's also incredible timing for a lot of other people with you being in New Zealand. I think you've proven it by your great classes. And then when you start to do the near white belt, if you're doing it online, then I mean, literally people from all over the world can come and get to do the training with you which will be really, really fantastic. So. Yeah, well, I, I know that um, there's been a few couple of Kiwis that have been able to join you for your blue belt. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm so glad. And so like timing wise, I know that when my class is at noon on central time, I think that's like six in the morning or something. Yeah. And so it's really cool though. One of you, I think it's Lisa, um, has to go to work. And so she actually is able to get up do the near training almost all the the two hour sessions and then mm -hmm. i know maybe an hour and a half and she goes i've got to go to work now and she listens to the rest of the call in her car and then what i like about online is like then later in the week she can go back and see the whole recording again and she's getting to be live as much as she can and this whole thing of yeah you can listen to the call you don't necessarily be right in front of the screen even mm -hmm. and um and then also that going back to um, one little bit maybe if there's a practice in the green belt or if there's something someone hasn't caught and they're like oh I like that part you just rewind and exactly. do it exactly. again and again and again yeah it's great it really is great yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm just so impressed at how how fast all of these were able to transition in the current state of the world yeah and how fast they were able to come online and to be able to offer and the number of people that are able to partake who might not necessarily been able to afford the travel and the accommodation that comes with attending an in-person training. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm realizing more and more as we're going through the trainings of how there is all these things that have come together at this time, that if it had been five years ago, it would not have been as good. And, mm -hmm. and it's like, perfect near timing like the amount of, of resources that Debbie Rosas has already had and then this year how she just just became prolific with with bringing out this information and then like your you know third generation trainers coming on board and like how you've helped amazingly how Christina's helped amazingly key people have come together at, at such a perfect time and yeah it's a time when people can't travel but they can do this instead and it's not a I don't think this is going away no. you know, I think this was no. just like okay thanks pandemic we made good out of something that happened that we might not choose and at the same time Nia is never going to be the same again it's a great example of how okay this is an opportunity rather than a problem That's and right. we had everything at the right time like mm -hmm. to be able to do these things on zoom yeah. yeah the technology yeah like you said five years ago we we could have struggled to perhaps do it but i don't think it would have been very successful yeah, yeah. we've got the technology now that makes it so easy you just i just roll out of bed and click a, click a link and i'm in the meeting <laughs> yeah. you don't even have to know if i've brushed my teeth or not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, look, I really appreciate you sharing about your, your perspective on the green belt. We've got a couple more weeks. And yeah, I have to figure out the creative part of how we're going to, mostly for me, the teaching part these days is figuring out how we can come together and do some kind of online jam. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really, uh, for me, that class, it's okay if people feel a little bit nervous. For me, that just shows that you care. Yeah. You know, and and so pitching it in a way that everyone feels a little stretched um, and I'd hope slightly more excited than than concerned. Um, so somehow we're going to put it together. And the main thing is that it is celebration, community and collaboration. And that really is part of, you know, what near is about as a practice for us to look at how we can cooperate and and celebrate like everybody's successes whether they're a baby you know brand new white belt or someone that's becoming a near trainer that we all learn from each other and and um, have a good time so yeah i'm going to put that together somehow and um, anybody that's watching this that's interested in um, any of the online trainings i highly recommend it now that all those courses are uploaded like this. I'm calling it the next semester that starts in 2021. Um, all the resources are there already and um, right. it's really well planned out. And you can go as fast as you like. You can actually on any of these courses. Am I right, Stephanie? Like That's if you right. want to, you can skip forward, you can skip back and with the whole of the homework. Yeah, they see that everything. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah everything's available. Yeah. And I think that's good. Some people are like, you know, I'm busy these two weeks. So it's like, okay, you can catch up later. And it's like, oh, I've got time now. It's great. You can go ahead. I sometimes like going ahead before the class. Um, and I sometimes get more out of it that way. But anyway, anyone that's interested, particularly the green belt, there's several trainers that are going to be offering green belts coming up. There's um, myself, but also Anne Chris Jansen. I know Laurie Bass has one happening. I think Britta Von Targa might be as well. Do you know of any others, Stephanie? Those, you, you four are the only that I know of. Yeah. yeah, I know back, maybe Franz Loeb might be doing one in France at some point, but I don't see it on the schedule yet. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, check out the dates of all these great trainings that are coming up and Greenbelt is unique. It's the one that has no principles. It is shorter. It's like 11 or 12 oh, weeks oh, instead yeah. of 16 mm -hmm. and it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. And um, and it's definitely a hands-on. I think everyone in the green belt gets direct feedback and and definitely. coaching, which I think is really necessary for teaching. Yeah, mm. something I was going to add as as far as the the our last class coming up. Um, not only is it also a celebration, but it's also um, we're we're sort of in this little sacred container that we've created, and this connection with these people over the last what will be 12 weeks by the time we're all the way through yeah. this. And so if there are teachers out there that are feeling nervous, then they know that they're being held though so gently by everyone in the group. And, and all we want is for them to succeed and to just be the best that they can be. Exactly. I mean, I already know that by the end of that session, my jaw is going to be aching from the smiling. <laughs> I know. I mean, from from how each of you have already shared um during the course, you know, sometimes when someone wants to show something or mm. I, it's like, ah, oh, it's so lovely to, to watch everybody's uniqueness and greatness and how mm. it comes together. And it really is true. No one else can teach near like anybody else. Yeah, we're each bringing that uniqueness and that Nia has the depth and the breadth to be able to meet us there. And then with the green belt, we can really deliver the promise and know we're really improving our confidence and also I say our competence. Yes. Yeah? So we're getting right. better at delivering and feeling better about ourselves, mm -hmm. hopefully along the way. Yeah. My favorite thing that you say is that whenever you're delivering a lesson that you hope that frustration is down and fascination is up yep. fascination <laughs> up frustration down we, we yeah, yeah and um yeah i started calling it the fascinationometer or something like that the yeah like where yeah let, let's keep this up and the other thing. Yeah, cool. awesome. anything else you want to add stephanie 
Oh, just uh, anybody who is is thinking about green. If you're brand new, if you are, have you been te if you've been teaching for twenty years, I highly recommend green. Even if you've taken green, come back to it. There will be something that you will take away that is brand new. Yeah. Yeah. Aww, anything it just freshens you. everything up as well. Yeah, come back every time with different colored eyes. Yeah, come back right. with blue eyes and brown yeah. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. Well, yeah. enjoy your Saturday. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And you have seeing all that beautiful sunshine coming in through your I window. Still daylight out. Yeah. We're in daylight savings right now. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Didn't rub you. it in. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.